love to welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel. This is going to be my introduction of Charbonne Hydrogen. This is a company I've been covering for quite a while. Uh, this is the first installation and rollout of the Independent Investor Channel. So welcome uh, to all the would-be subscribers and uh, those interested in the this story. Uh, Charbonne Hydrogen is traded under the OTCQB under the ticker symbol CHHYF. I will provide uh, that and the uh, company's website, which I uh, pulled a lot of the information in uh, in crafting this video for you guys. It's full of news releases. I invite you to kick over there uh, and grab those news releases because a lot has um, been in the works with Charbonne. Uh, I think the key right up front for would-be investors or patrons who are looking to follow the story um, is to track the timeline. I think the timeline is key. I think Charbonne is really knocking on the door to put the pieces uh, together. Um, having transitioned their business in the last couple of years and looking to initiate a renewed focus on green hydrogen, uh, I think it is worth a second look here for those who have um, a history with the company and have followed the uh, the transition of the company up till now, uh, looking here in 2024 to be um, the pure play green hydrogen uh, uh, play and the only one of its type in North America here. So very rare opportunity to get in on the ground floor of a pure play opportunity like this. Uh, so uh, before we get into it, I want to invite you to the disclaimers in the description below. Um, I am being paid to provide awareness services on uh, Charbonne Hydrogen. I'm glad to do so. Uh, I've yet to take a position in the company, but I'm actually looking to actively do so. And we'll fully disclose those uh, at those times uh, of those acquisitions. But for now, uh, looking to just bring awareness and attention to the company, the investment highlights really are that it's a rare rare opportunity here. It does have first mover advantage here to try to uh, leverage the transition from gray hydrogen to uh, green hydrogen. Uh, the production is already uh, pre-sold through uh, their deal with Superior Plus. Uh, Charbonne is looking to bring their one facility on in um, the Sorrel Tracy region of Canada uh, in Quebec, where uh, patrons already enjoy um, the low cost of of of, of their energy, um, and a lot of their sources come from an abundance of green or energy sources, which Charbonne is really looking to get this off the ground floor with this initial installation of the facility uh, and look to duplicate those efforts. We'll get into some of those locations in a little bit, um, but they are looking to establish a decentralized, close to end user and clean energy. So they've already pre-earmarked uh, locations where they've got that clean energy input uh, to producing the green hydrogen, which is a, a key uh, in the clean carbon and the net zero emissions profiles that uh, the world has signed off on uh, to be net zero emissions by 2050. Uh, green hydro versus uh, the gray hydro that we talk about, there's uh, going to be probably around a 30% reduction of gray uh, gray hydrogen uh, until 2030. And, and that green hydrogen has got to come from someone. And Charbonne is positioned to be the first mover in the space. Gray hydrogen is a massive pollutant. It offsets or off gases 830 million tons of CO2 emissions annually. Um, and there is a global push, like I had mentioned, uh, out to net zero in 20, uh, 2050. Uh, the future is near and uh, time to get in is now. This is a ground floor opportunity uh, with Charbonne um, and, and really looking to put the last pieces in place, if not one piece, uh, with regard to what has uh, started uh, in late uh, 2023 uh, with the potential of securing uh, financing uh, and looking to get their project in uh, Sorrel Tracy off the ground uh, and, and producing uh, hydrogen, which is going to just be a huge win for the company um, going forward. So we will continue to, to cover the company and their uh, progress toward that financing. What I mentioned at the top here is to identify what has transpired in way of a timeline for Charbonne. 
the infrastructure is in place, building permits are in place. It is very, very difficult to secure uh, the equipment that is necessary to produce the green hydrogen, to secure the locations that is necessary. And I think more importantly, to secure the transportation, uh, Charbonne has secured that with Superior. So all the pieces are in place, but uh, what the company needs currently uh, is some uh, last financing to get them through uh, phase 1A, phase 1B. Uh, and I'll link a description of what I'm talking about with the current phases, um, with the electrolyzer and what is necessary, how they're looking to get their initial uh, plant off the ground with a smaller um, um, uh, electrolyzer, which will prove out their concept and their infrastructure to actually produce green hydrogen and provide that to the end user. Uh, the scale up from there will be inevitable and, and certainly a start of the fall of the dominoes of uh, providing green hydrogen in uh, not only their initial location, uh, but multiple locations that they have got have identified which fit the same business model. Um, there is a trajectory of strong growth here. I mentioned the Sorrel Tracy property. Um, the Sorrel Tracy overview uh, slide here uh, really just gives you an indication of how close these guys are. And again, if we're aligning the stars with the timeline, guys, I, I don't have a crystal ball, um, but I can also read. And the collection of uh, press releases that have been released to the public facing audience only leads me to believe that we are inevitably knocking on the door to an eventual uh, windfall of uh, financial support for this company to ensure that they can follow through uh, and, and prove out this Sorrel Tracy model that they're right there knocking on the door to do. Um, Superior Plus, I mentioned, it's the partnership to distribute uh, and they have um, agreed to take on that product once production is brought on the line. Uh, Superior's competitive advantage really speaks to the decentralized business plan that Charbonne is looking to earmark these properties in areas where uh, green energy is abundant. Uh, therefore, the input to producing the green hydrogen uh, costs are kept low and therefore servicing local clients in the same region that the green energy is, uh, is produced. I, I think it's a very, very smart, it's a very... Um, business savvy way of building the infrastructure on site to provide and keep those transportation costs low. And, and I believe that they're going to execute on that. And we will be uh, reporting out on those developments as they are made prevy to us. Uh, the opportunities to invest in the pure play are very rare. Uh, the management team here is highlighted by Mr. De uh, Dave Gagnon. Uh, and finally, I'd like to invite you, if you are interested more into the story, uh, to reach out to the investor relations team with a Charbonne Hydrogen. They'd be glad to get back to you. Uh, their contacts here are noted on the screen. A and again, to highlight and just sum up, uh, Charbonne Hydrogen and their first project um, are, are really looking at a, a potential for um, putting the pieces together that have been really uh, the last couple of years of restructuring the business, consolidating, cost cutting, uh, building out the infrastructure, the permitting, securing the equipment, uh, especially the electrolyzers that are necessary to make the green hydrogen. And and I, I presume based on my intellect and application in review and due diligence on Charbonne uh, hydrogen, that they are indeed one step away uh, from a potential windfall here, uh, and it is going to be news that is going to shock the wire if they are able to secure what they put in motion uh, late last year in December, uh, uh, disclosed by the CEO through a quote on the uh, financing deal that was vetted, solicited by Charbonne, and uh, also solicited by the financiers. Um, that are interested in that have had their opportunity to do due diligence on the company. Uh, and it's going to be amazing to see if that follow through indeed materializes here in 2024. Uh, guys, I'll shut it down for the introduction. If you're interested in uh, more information, I invite you to uh, Charbonne. Their website it will be linked in the description below. If you enjoy the content, leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Hit the thumbs up to help support the channel. Good luck in your investment future.